Hey, this is Lorena, and I wanted to do a video for you on some of the products that I purchased at the Houston Clothes Show. Yes, I'm going to share with you what I spend my moolah, my money on, <laughs> and I'm going to share with you why. Have you ever gone to a Houston Clothes Show or any type of show, like San Antonio Quilt Guild Show or New Braunfels Guild, and at the time people were just spending money, so you kind of go and spend money on stuff that you don't even use, you haven't even touched, and you just spent your money. Well, I did that probably on my first couple Houston Clothes shows. And I ended up going to Thimbles For You by Jan, I believe, and I wanted one of her thimbles. Her thimbles cost like 100 to $120. And when I saw the price, I kind of like, <laughs> uh uh. I was turned off because I didn't want to spend that much money. Well, that Houston clothes show, I went and I bought a dumb little bag for $35. I bought something else, a little iron that I can't even find or never used. I think I spent $20 on that. And I bought a whole bunch of Chowskis. Chowskis that I, to this day, don't use. Never used. They were like worthless purchases. So I decided when I went in 2019 that I was going to buy a Thimbles from Thimbles For You and I was willing to invest $100 on a Thimble based on the fact that the year before I purchased a whole bunch of stuff that I never used and I spent that much money. So I felt like if I invested in a Thimble that was sterling silver that it would be a good investment and that would be a good use of my money even though it was expensive. It's expensive. I did buy two thimbles from her, her and through COVID 2020, 2021 and this year that I went to the New Braunfels Quilt Guild, I, because of these wonderful thimbles, I applied more, I did binding more and I just enjoyed making more. I love these thimbles and they're a treasure to me and they're sterling silver and she has a lifetime warranty. As, things, as long as the life of her company is going on, if your hands change, you have arthritis or you lose weight and you want to change the thimble, she'll change, exchange the thimble for free. So this year when I went to the Houston Quilts show, I decided that I wanted to purchase myself a Shaladine. I have been looking at this. Historically, Shaladines have been used in the 1800s, I think in the 1900s, but more in the 1800s. And there's a whole history of Shaladines. The first part of the Shaladine is a beautiful butterfly and the flowering. I do metal smithing and I understand the process of metal smithing. I make my own earrings and rings and I love it. I took metal smith one and two when I went to college and I understand how much work these take. So it's like quilting. People just say like, thanks for the blanket. They don't understand the hours invested in making the quilt top. We also don't understand the hours invested in making these wonderful Shaladines or silversmith treasures. I ended up getting thimble cages. I got two of them for my two thimbles. The neat thing about thimble cages, um, the cages that I got fit specifically the size of my thimbles that I got. I have larger hands and it just kind of like latches like this and it just hangs beautifully. I also went crazy and bought two new thimbles because I knew I used them. I know I would like love them. I just recently purchased this one. I just love I love the way this one fits. I bought this one just recently. I like it. Because it looks like I have a top hat. Or my finger is wearing a top hat. Just love it. Um, she has like a little flower. I use this one when my fingers are a bit more swollen. I'm that person. <laughs> if I fall in love with something, I want more than one. I got a scissor holder, a thing that holds your scissors so they hang off of your Shaladine. This is just a wonderful heirloom. I did get a magnifier, which I just thought was kind of cool <laughs> and quirky. A ridiculous magnifying glass, but you know, I just had to. <laughs> I don't know what I'll use it for, but I just thought it was beautiful. 
She has a variety of different types of um, items that you can hang off of your shaladine. She had a thread cutter, which I thought was ingenious. I did get two different types of pin cushions. One pin cushion is rounded and I just love the look of it and the feel about it. It, ha it hangs a little bit longer. As you can see, I could pin here, but it doesn't go through. I also purchased another type of pin cushion where um, it's more of a like ice cream cone. This little pin cushion, you could pin larger pins. Isn't that beautiful? But the pins don't go through. Another thing that I purchased were a needle holder. This is beautiful, it holds my needles. I ended up wearing the Shaladine throughout the Houston Quilt Show and she was heavy <laughs> on my neck. And so I went back and I went and purchased another necklace Shaladine that only had three areas to cook things on. And this is the one that I wear all the time. And so let me share with you this one. She also had this wonderful case where you could put everything in it and it's a, it looks like a little jewelry box. I usually just wear this one. So, yeah. I love these. So after I purchased my Shaladine, I had to really consider what my next purchase would be because honestly, the only reason I went to the show was for more thimbles and that's it. I didn't want anything else. But I, usually go to Superior Thread and I buy a new collection of threads, King Tut, you know my faves, I love them. But th this year, before this year, I think January or February, I also made an order because I didn't know if the Houston Quilt Show was going to be open, so I reordered threads. So I really kind of didn't need threads, but I still purchased some just in case. If you're a business, you can go to them and ask them. For a wholesale account and so the threads that you get you could pay up to half of it and at the houston quilt show they will honor that i also went to connections thread because you know they're my favorite too and i bought thread from them all right i wanted to share with you another purchase this to me was a god thing because i want to increase in my long and quilting skills i also want to really practice on my domestic sewing I've purchased a lot of books from different long armors and I just don't use them. I don't think they work for me. They draw out, they don't teach you how they draw it out, and then they quilt it out and then they're like, you figure out how to do this. So Susan, Sue Hines 
came out with her own line and I'll show you pictures of all her books. She has one that's called Cafe Quilting, one Draw to Mastery, and I'm also going to share her pages of teaching. I like her teaching style, elemental designs, simple shapes, and stunning results. And I'll show you like a page from her. She also has Draw to Mastery sashes, uh, medallions, and wreaths. And her stuff is just beautiful. She also has, it's called Phil Harmonics. Just really intricate quilting and sewing stuff. The neat thing about her line, and when I'm doing this video, I did do another video talking about this and I hadn't practiced it. It's ingenious how she goes and shows you one element and then she steps into an element, other element. I really do recommend her books. I recommend getting a book and doing a skill builder once a week and sit down and build everything. She had a special for a bundle where you get all her templates and measurement guides. So these are like measurement guides that she provided. She also had different templates for making wreaths. And I'll put like pictures of each one. She also had a plexiglass ruler template so that you could create guidelines quickly. But it's neat to see how she does her stuff. Some of her stuff is so intricate, it blows my mind how she thinks. But it's making me learn skills that I want to learn. I have tried to do my own stuff and I kind of just fall away and kind of lose... Um, direction and I don't know where to go next. Using one of her books as a guideline is wonderful. Her stuff, this lady is genius. I'm still learning how to work it. I'm still learning how to use her books with her templates. It's not complicated at all. I just need to take the time to work these. Some of her ways of thinking. Anyway, she's genius. In the other video you'll see more information but I really am thankful that I purchased these and it's neat when I have already spent probably three days practicing. Oh my God, I am in love. So yeah, those are really the only things that I purchased at the Houston Quilt Show. And I, I really am happy with them because when I'm using them, I just didn't spend money to spend money. I'm not buying fabric just to buy more fabric because it's there or I'm using the stuff that I'm buying, I'm investing in my skill, and I'm not wasting that income on stuff that to this day I don't use. So I just wanted to share what I purchased at the Houston Quilt Show, and I'm really happy with the decisions I made this time. I love you in the Lord, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.